Good morning, everyone. <coughs> My name is Moose Henderson. I'm a wildlife photographer, and today we're at the Venice Area Audubon Rookery. This is located just outside of Venice, Florida, and this is one of the premier locations to come and observe some nesting, waiting birds, including great egrets, great blue herons, and hingas, and a few other birds. Directly in front of us is the pavilion, and directly behind the pavilion is a little island in the middle of a drainage pond that is protected by alligators so that they're able to do their nesting without the intrusion of uh, raccoons and whatnot. Before the sun rises, you get an opportunity to watch and photograph all of the birds as they leave the island at first light. This is a fairly good-sized collection of white ibises and great egrets, and they generally all, except for a few, will leave the island as the sun begins to rise. If you watch the direction of the sun, birds of course take off into the sun, and so if you happen to get a day when the wind is blowing directly out of the east, then the birds will take off right directly towards you as the island is directly to the west and so they will head directly towards the sun which will be right at your back and give you very nice images. When trying to photograph birds in flight like this at first light, you're going to be dealing with a relatively high shutter speed and also a relatively high ISO. It's relatively dark out here. So you're going to have ISO settings anywhere from 3200 or maybe even much higher and you would want to have a shutter speed uh, greater than 500th of a second. So it's going to be a little bit challenging. You'll have to do some noise reduction on your photographs. You'll still come up with some excellent images. Today is kind of an overcast day, so the shutter speeds and the ISOs would be much higher, but it's still a beautiful day. This is a view from the north corner of the rookery and you can see that there is a gravel type of standing area for the photographers and the bird watchers to stand while photographing and you can see that the photography area is not very far from the island so you're able to get good frame filling images of the birds on the Rookery Island with something in the range of a five to six hundred millimeter lens on a regular full frame body. There are benches to rest on. There are also these snags as they call them, these dead trees and these dead trees are an excellent place to watch for raptors, as occasionally there are raptors in these trees. There is a pavilion that's located on site that has picnic tables and additional places to sit down. And if you happen to have a day like today that's raining off and on, it's a good place to duck under the cover while waiting for the rain to quit. In the pond that goes around the Rookery Island, there are occasional alligators, so do keep a lookout for those. Don't go wading too close to the shore without 
keeping a very close eye and also at the base of the trees that you see here there's a pretty good abundance of gray squirrels. So this is the island just a few minutes after the previous images and you can see it's almost empty now. Most of the birds that were roosting on the island have already left and gone to feeding areas. What we're left with on the island is a few great egrets and a few great blue herons and some anhingas. The only birds that appear to have active nest right now are a couple of the great blue herons. The herons have a nesting season that goes from roughly November through early spring with the height of the nesting activity occurring late in January and early in February. The great egrets have a nesting activity that begins in January and continues into the middle of the spring to the early summer. So this is what the island looks like just a few minutes before sunrise. So on these pedestals we have six bat houses and these are here to help sustain the bat population. Of course bats eat a large amount of insects and they're typically nocturnal and as of today I do not have any good images of bats. This would be a fun project to try and set up some game cameras or something like that in order to photograph these guys. But that's for a later time. This is just to the south of the pavilion. It is on the same property as the rookery and it is maintained by the Vetus Area Audubon Society. Now let's take a short trip over to the main building that is part of the Audubon Society. It's just to the north of the rookery. So this is the building that was the Venice Area Audubon Society and as you can see it is totally enclosed within a construction area and I'm not entirely sure whether it's undergoing renovations or whether it has been acquired by someone else and being used for some other purpose now. Directly adjacent to this is the buildings for the, the government annex for the, the county of Sarasota. So it's possible this could have been acquired by the county of Sarasota and they're going to use this entire area. for the governmental activities. It's also possible that the Audubon Society will remain here. It just happens to be part of a construction area. I'll have to update this later as I learned more about the future of the Venice Area Audubon Society building. When I first started coming to the rookery, the rookery was kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But now, like most places in Florida, construction is encroaching closer and closer to the rookery area. I think the rookery is relatively safe as the Audubon Society has a good presence here and the Audubon Society is well supported by a lot of followers. But you can see that the construction 
is encroaching right into the backyard. This is inevitable in Florida as more and more people decide that they want to come and enjoy the Florida weather. So that's our brief walk around of the Venice Rookery. I did look near the Venice Area Audubon Society building for the Butterfly Garden and it appears that it is not there at the current time. Maybe it was uh, removed or destroyed as part of the construction activities. If that's going to be the location of the Audubon Society when they reopen, I hope they rebuild the Butterfly Garden because it's always nice to get some macro images and things like that of the beautiful insects. So this is the Rookery Island from the north and today is not a very good day for photography of the birds with it being so deeply overcast. But I do have a lot of images that I have taken in this area from the past. So let's visit some of those images as we close off this video and this will give you a chance to see what the activity is like here on the island and what the possibilities are like here at the Venice Rookery. I thank you so much for joining us today. I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please hit the like icon and also consider subscribing to our channel. I will do a follow-up video when the weather is better here at the Rookery with some tips and techniques for photographing at a rookery. I will see you again soon, and thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the images. Goodbye.